What is going on my dearly beloved subscriber base? This is B James and welcome back to the haven known as the doctor show Today I will be continuing our latest channel mega series of zombies rankings So after just having looked at the god map known as origins Of course, we will be traveling to another Treyarch map masterpiece which inspired and reinvigorated the zombies community shadows of evil Right wrong for some sadistic and torturous reason, we will be taking you through the Sledgehammer ExoZombies experience in the hope to bring up some deep, dark, forgotten memories of yours. Now drawing the shortest of short straws, it has been deemed my job to guide you through these four ExoZombies maps and attempt to give them a score based on the criteria of atmosphere, gameplay, replayability, perks slash weapons, and that special warm, mushy feeling that swells up inside you whenever you play these maps. Now, I have honestly tried my best to remain objective and not just join the bash exo zombies bandwagon when grading these maps, but let's just get straight into the first map with Outbreak. Okay, you know what? I'm going to have to join the bash exo zombies bandwagon for this one. Jesus Christ, Sledgehammer. For those who don't know or are lucky enough to not remember this map, let me break it down for you. Outbreak didn't even come out with the release of Advanced Warfare. It came out with DLC 1. That's a whole extra amount of time to work on this map. Despite this, Sledgehammer kicked off its Zombies debut with a piece of trash, easily the worst out of the four maps they went on to put out. Alright, pull it together B James, let's just get on with the ratings, because I, I can go on for days about this. Atmosphere. Dark, dull, murky, boring. Everything about the atmosphere of this map is just a no. Honestly, I'm trying to hold myself back here and be fair, but it's hard. The characters are alright I guess, at least when this map came out. They went on to be quite annoying, making me wish Atlas had dropped a couple more bombs or some nukes to take them out. Um, but yeah, tiny boring little map with shitty aesthetic and an ordinary storyline. Gets a generous 2 out of 10. Gameplay. This is a hard category to do after playing Black Ops 3 and Infinite Warfare Zombies. The movements playing this game are so clunky and hard to use. At the time though, I do remember not struggling with them though, so I guess this isn't the game's fault. However, fuck exosuits. So the map layout is fine for gameplay and I guess well suited for the exosuits. The infected rounds in addition to dog rounds was just a bit annoying more than anything. However, this was nothing compared to what Sledgehammer had in store for future maps. Gameplay gets a solid 4 out of 10. Replayability. Really, really, really boring. Even at the time, I remember barely playing this map when it came out. Doing the easter egg on Outbreak was just a chore and no one gives a shit about your Outbreak highest round. If I was going to play Exos on me for some reason, this map would be the last I would play. A generous 3 out of 10. Perks and weapons. So Outbreak included a selection of the shittiest Advanced Warfare multiplayer weaponry, which immediately hurts it in this category. The upgrade machine instead of Pack-a-Punch was an original idea that I give Sledgehammer credit for trying, but it just didn't quite seem as good as good old Pap. The map contained 5 unoriginal perks with altered names. Yes, that's right, Exoslam is just a shittier PhD, alright, there, I said it. Also, even their version of a box managed to be annoying in my opinion. In this map, the best strategy and gun at the time was using the Mayhem or Mahem, an RPG and spamming your exosuit jumping in a circle and firing the RPG at the ground. I guess credit for giving RPGs the credit they deserve. 2 out of 10 for perks and weapons, let's move on. The gut feeling. Well, when I think about this map, I have no good memories, and even barely any bad memories. Just no memories, really. It absolutely had no effect on me, and whenever I see it, I just don't like it. This was truly an ordinary start to Zombies by Sledgehammer, and honestly probably did more harm than good for the Zombies community. Gut rating is going to have to be a 2 out of 10. So what does Outbreak go to overall? 13 out of 50, our lowest score yet by a decent margin. I hope you found my analysis relatively fair. I know it was fairly negative, but seriously, this map is just trash. I just can't think of many positive things to say about this one. But hey, it can only go up from here, right? Well, we'll see. Anyway, guys and girls, that is the video. I do hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know what you think of the map and give it your own rating out of 50 in the comments. A like would be greatly appreciated. And if you subscribe, well, that would be muchly, muchly, muchly appreciated. Anyway, I shall see you in the next one.